Hey Cancer, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this just in. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. This reading is going to be good for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and or Rising. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with everybody. It just won't. Uh, Cancer, this is your love reading, your relationship reading for July 2018. The moon is currently in your opposite sign of Capricorn, all right, as as I do this reading. Listen, Cancer, I have to say, I don't know if this is you, but uh, it's if, if, if you are, or somebody that you're dealing with is doing something that's a little bit sneaky, it's not worth it. Don't block your blessings by uh, trying to pull a sneak move. Don't block your blessings by trying to pull a sneak move. And that's heavy on my heart for something that you might be dealing with, Cancer. Whether it's you or whether it's somebody else. Don't you block your blessings or the other person needs to realize that they may block theirs with you. By trying to do something that is not necessarily on the up and up. Cancer, I feel like with the moon happening in your opposite sign, uh, it's going to say something about, or that said something, because this has already happened. This says something about taking care of business in a way that helps you nurture yourself and maybe the people that you love and care for are, are responsible for. But there's more to the story, and that is for sure. I'm getting used to this. Another setup. Something else I've done. Where I have to get used to the layout and how the cards are going on camera. All right. Can I say the first card we have is the Empress? I'm sorry, the Queen of Coins. It looks a lot like the Empress in this deck. The next is the Eight of Swords reversed. And then the last card is the Justice card reversed. Okay. Queen of Coins is generally, uh, it's Earth. It's Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, and, and it doesn't have to be a person's sun sign. They can have that on the rising or the moon. Or it could be just somebody who exudes these earthy type energies. And, and earth is, you know, it, first of all, it's a slow moving energy. But it's, a, you know, it's slow and steady wins the race, right? The earth signs are about consistency and structure, work, tangible things. They make things happen in 3D, right? So Queen of Coins, you know, through her work or through how she earns her money, is able to not only take care of herself, but those people that she's responsible for. And if you look at her, she is fly AF. She's got a little jewelry on, you know, and green represents resources. It also represents healing. And she knows she's bad. You can just look at the look on her face. She's trying to look modest, like, oh. but you know she knows she bad because she's and she's got her stuff together. Uh, this Queen of Coins, whether it's an energy you exude or or whether it is uh, somebody that you could be dealing with, looks like they are looking at a situation. Uh, we got the eight of swords reversed. I, they're looking at a situation. I'm looking at them looking towards this eight of swords reversed and this justice card reversed. But as of this moment in the reading, you know, I don't know what she's, what she feels about it. She sees it, but I don't know what she feels about it. Either way, she's, she's, she's good. She takes care of things and, you know, she can go out and go shopping when she wants to and, you know, decorate her house and, you know, she's, she knows how to manage her money. She knows how to make it work. She knows how to balance the books. So I feel like this queen of coins, whoever it is, is watching whatever is going on here. All right. So let's talk about the eight of swords. This is a Jupiter and Gemini card. Uh, J 
Jupiter is about expansion and Gemini, you know, predominantly is about communication. The way we think. It's about uh, having friendly relationships. It's about not really getting deeper than the surface. This particular card, though, shows that in the upright position, it is somebody who is trapped. And it may be due to all of this information, this powerful information that's coming in with these swords. And, and they are, this information is trying to burst her bubble. She's already vulnerable. And, and she's trapped as a result. They're trying to burst her bubble. She certainly can't go down, but she doesn't seem like she can go up either. She's just trapped. And it's due to all of this sword energy that's coming in. Swords are actually the most dangerous weapon in the suits. Uh, wands can be used as weapons as well, but swords cut and they cut deep. So something that has been going on where maybe uh, somebody felt like they were cut deep, they're coming out of it. They get over it. There was some sort of mental manipulation that was going on here that had somebody feeling like they were backed into a corner. Gemini represents primary school. I, I'm looking at this right now and I'm thinking spiritual teachings because Jupiter is spirituality. Jupiter is the traditional ruler of Pisces. And we all know that Pisces is very spiritual in a very expansive way. Jupiter rules acquisitions, uh, optimism, foreign lands, higher education. Gemini rules primary education. This is grade school. Uh, you know, this is this is that period of life. Um, so I do, I do see something that has to do with education. We got the Justice card reversed, though, which is a major arcana. And I don't know if I've showed this already, but I'll show it again. This is the Justice card reversed. This is a Libra card, and Libra has to do with relationships. This is the 11th major arcana. It's reversed. So, for whatever reason, there's some sort of imbalance. I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing a relationship. Let me, let, I, I need something. What's imbalanced? Or, you know, I think the Queen of Coins speaks for herself. I'm sorry. But, like, what is the imbalance? What's not fair? What is, uh, I don't know, being judged wrongly? What, what is going on with the justice card? All right, that one popped out. All right. It's the faith card reversed. This is a Taurus card. Taurus rules, I mean, this card rules tradition. It rules, I just said, what did I just say? I said uh, education and teachers. This is schools. Because this is an establishment. You know, it could be churches, it can be schools. But whatever it is, it is about doing those things traditionally. It's reversed though. So when the... This is the Hierophant in a regular deck. Or in a right of weight deck. I shouldn't say well, who what's regular. So, yeah, and, and that's the thing. The the faith card reverse is saying, well, what is regular? You know what I'm saying? What's regular? We doing it the new way. Uh some people are definitely not gonna agree with how you go about things. Cancer, but you or somebody that you're dealing with is not, you're not allowing yourself to get trapped up in, in a patriarchal society. I, I know this is supposed to be a relationship reading, Cancer. 
okay, I, I, I can see a little bit. Let's get back. Let's get back to this though. Uh, somebody's not allowing themselves to be trapped, like I said, in what patriarchal society thinks that they should think or the way that they should move or handle themselves. Somebody's going to feel, though, uh, jilted. Somebody's going to feel like things are unfair. For those of you who might be in some sort of some sort of environment or some sort of situation where you might be teaching or giving knowledge or something like that your unorthodox ways of thinking this you're not letting traditional stuff get in your way and 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 you benefited greatly from the way that you think and the way that you feel but other people are going to feel like that's not right like you know there's an imbalance there's definitely a difference in the way that um you do things and the way other people perceive or and balance these things or vice versa the way that somebody else is doing things and the way that maybe you perceive uh, at, at what you perceive as being fair now the other thing i see is that um The Hierophant is generally the priest or unorthodox relationships are coming up. If we if we look at relationships, somebody is somebody feels better in a relationship if they are not trapped into the traditional ways of thinking about them. But I don't think the world is ready. That's what I'm you know, it's a lot going on in terms of new developments and relationships and the way that we do things. But I still feel like the world is not quite ready for whatever it is that is going on right here. Somebody doesn't want to be trapped in a particular way of thinking, a particular way of being. They are over it. And it makes them great. They're okay. But somebody else is not. And I, you know, I even feel like that somebody else is on a larger scale than just one person. There may be a group of people that don't agree with what's going on and, and, and how you do what you do. Or maybe there's a group of people that you are involved with that don't agree with the way that another person handles themselves. But I definitely see institutions and education and I see imbalance. I said before that I just think it is imperative cancer to be uh, aware of the way that you are communicating with other people. There are some challenges here. And the thing about it is, even though the queen of coins is okay, you know what I'm saying? And she's great and she looks good and all of that good stuff. I don't know that she has the power. She, I mean, she doesn't. These are these are these are trump cards. These are major arcana, and this is you know this is literally a person. This is universal energy. This is the the big stuff, the real deal, holy field. I don't know that even though she's cool or whatever and together, I don't know that she's able to overpower these energies that that goodness that's great that's fine but this is what's important this is this is what's really important and it's that unorthodox thinking that unorthodox way of being and it's just gonna throw somebody off it's gonna throw some people off and i feel like those are that those people that i'm talking about is in some sort of establishment some sort of institution So, yeah, Cancer, I don't know. You you may not have heard what you wanted to hear because I don't know that this was necessarily directed towards romantic love. But I just wasn't necessarily led in that direction. One thing I do see, I mean, it's, this could be an unorthodox marriage that don't really go over the way that people plan. Uh, okay, let me say that. If there is uh, same-sex relationships, 
same-sex relationship. Maybe you are trying to get married. And the law doesn't allow it where you are. Or maybe there is somebody who... Uh, uh, well, this is amazing. Uh, cancer? I don't, I don't know. It's like somebody's coming out of this old crunched up way of thinking but I'm still thinking that whatever it is that's going on here with the faith card reversed is still a little bit far gone for what the law allows I hope that makes sense to you cancers I, I really do I hope that makes sense uh, thanks for tuning in if you want to get a reading with me my email is in the description box below I don't have a website yet I told a couple of the other signs that I it made some attempts on doing it myself. It didn't work out well. Uh, I will get there soon. But thank you, Cancer. I hope to talk to you guys again next month.